are four reasons why we could see a naked fire blade in 2022 or 2023. Reason number one, it's really easy. Just rip the fairings off the current fire blade, stick some high handlebars on it and you're good to go. This is, this is exactly what a brilliant do with the Chuono compared to the RSV4. Cheapest way of doing it, easiest way of doing it and you get a real hardcore head banging naked leader sports bike. Reason number two, that hardcore naked segment's in really good health at the moment. You have the KTM 1290 Super Duke, you have the Yamaha MT10, BMW S1000 Single R, Aprilia Chirono V4. All of these are just sort of um, sports bikes with high bars um, and minimally detuned engines. They're a lot more focused than naked bikes were 10, 15 years ago. Um, and they exist in a different space to that naked roads to market. Reason number three. Honda doesn't have anything in this space at the moment. The closest thing it has is a CB1000R, which isn't very focused, and it's a lot more of a roadster type, cafe racery type take on um, an naked bike. Um, it's called a Neo Sport. It, it's all about, like I say, it's just a lot less focused than, than something in that space could be and should be. And if Honda wanted to put something into that, the, ripping the fairings off a fire blade is ideal. Reason number four. Honda gets a little bit more return investment out of developing that all singing or dancing brand new Fireblade. So through no fault of their own, in 2020 they didn't sell many bikes, partly because people weren't really buying and partly because of availability. Obviously with the global pandemic that slowed everything up. So the 2020 Fireblade, there haven't been many available. It's not been a great seller, but that isn't Honda's fault. The bike's fantastic. Yes, it's expensive, but you get all the bells and whistles. So developing a, a naked version of it means that Honda can try and claw a bit of money back on those initial development costs. So that's it. There are four reasons why we might see a naked Fireblade sometime soon. Let me know in the comments what you think, whether you'd like to see it, whether you wouldn't, if you think it's a good thing for Honda to do.